You spoke uh, very idealistically about your company, and you talked about the strong values, and you said you wanted to be a positive force in the community and the world. Uh, and you were hijacked by Cambridge Analytica for political purposes. Are you angry about that? Absolutely. And, and you're determined, uh, and I assume you want changes made in the law. That's what you've talked about today. Senator, the most important thing that I care about right now is making sure that no one interferes in the various 2018 elections around the world. We have an extremely important U.S. midterm. We have major elections in India, Brazil, Mexico, Pakistan, Hungary coming up. And we're going to take a, a number of measures from building and deploying new AI tools that take down fake news to growing our security team to more than 20,000 people to m making it so that we verify every advertiser who's doing political and issue ads um, to make sure that that kind of interference that the Russians were able to do in 2016 is going to be much harder for anyone to pull off in the future. And, and I think you've said earlier that you support the Honest Ads Act, and so I assume that means you want changes in the law in order to, to effectuate exactly what you talked about. Senator, Correct? yes, we support yeah. the Honest Ads Act. And so are, we're you implementing gonna, it. are you going to come back up here and be a strong advocate to see that that law is passed? Senator, the biggest thing that I think we can do is implement it. Well, that's a kind and of we're doing yes that. or no question there. I hate to interrupt you, but are you going to come back and be a strong advocate? You're angry about this. You think there ought to be change. There ought to be a law put in place. Are you going to come back and be an advocate to get a law in place like that? Senator, our team is certainly going to work on this. What I can say is the biggest thing that I... talking about you, not your team. Just, well, Senator, I try not to come here to and be an advocate for that law. That's what I want to see. I mean, you're upset about this. We're upset about this. Uh, I, I'd like a yes or no answer on that one. Senator, I'm, I'm posting and speaking out publicly about how important this is. Um, I don't come to Washington, D.C. too often. Uh, I'm going to direct my team to focus on this. And the biggest thing that I feel like we can do is implement it, which we're doing. Well, the biggest thing you can do is to be a strong advocate yourself, personally, here in Washington. Just let me make that clear. But many of us have seen the kinds of images shown earlier by Senator Leahy. You saw those images that he held up. Can you guarantee that any of those images that can be attributed or associated with the Russian company, Internet Research Agency, have been purged from your platform? Senator, no, I can't guarantee that because this is an ongoing arms race. As long as there are people sitting in Russia whose job it is is to try to interfere with elections around the world, this is going to be an ongoing conflict. What I can commit is that we're going to invest significantly because this is a top priority to make sure that people aren't spreading misinformation or trying to interfere in elections on Facebook. But I don't think it would be a realistic expectation to assume that as long as there are people who are employed in Russia for whom this is their job, that we're going to have zero amount of that or that we're going to be 100% successful at preventing that. Now, beyond disclosure of online ads, what specific steps are you taking to ensure that foreign money is not financing political or issue ads on Facebook in violation of U.S. law. Just because someone submits a, a disclosure that says paid for by some 501c3 or PAC, if that group has no real person in the U.S., how can we ensure it is not foreign, interf foreign interference? Senator, our verification program involves two pieces. One is verifying the identity of the person who's buying the ads, that they have a valid government identity. The second is verifying their location. So if you're sitting in Russia, for example, and uh, you say that you're in the US, then we'll be able to, uh, to make it a lot harder to do that because what we're actually going to do is mail a code to the address that you say you're at. And if you can't get access to that code, then you're not going to be able to run ads. Yeah. Now, Facebook is creating an independent group to study the abuse of social media in elections. You've talked about that. Will you commit that all findings of this group are made public no matter what they say about Facebook or its business model? Yes or no answer? Senator, that's the purpose of this group, is that Facebook does not get to control uh, what these folks publish. These are going to be independent academics, and Facebook has no prior publishing um, control. They'll be able to do the studies that, that, um, that they're doing, 
and publish the results. And you're fine with them being public. And what's the timing on getting those out? Senator, we're, we're kicking off the research now. Our goal is to focus on both providing ideas for preventing interference in 2018 and beyond, and also for holding us accountable to making sure that the measures that we put in place um, are, are successful in doing that. So I would hope that we will start to see the first results uh, later this year. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.